I have recently launched the very first Statistics Globe online course on the topic data manipulation in our programming using Deployer and the Tidyverse. And the course has 103 participants. And I was very impressed how international the group of participants is. And for that reason, I wanted to use these data to analyze the data a little bit and to visualize how the countries of these participants are distributed. So without too much talk, let's do this. In this video, I want to analyze and visualize the country information of our participants. And for that reason, I first need to create a vector object which contains these countries. And I'm doing that, as you can see, in lines 2 to 104. So as you can see, I'm creating a vector containing 103 different country names. So after running these lines of code, a new vector object called x is created, which contains 103 elements, and each of these elements contains one country name. I want to analyze and visualize these data using the packages of the tidyverse, more specifically the deplier and ggplot2 packages. And for that reason, I first need to install and load the tidyverse packages, as you can see in lines 106 and 107 of the code. I have installed these packages already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load them running line 107 of the code. And now in the next step, I want to analyze these data using the deplier package. More specifically, in this case, I'm interested in the counts of the countries in the group. So I want to know which countries are represented the most and which countries are represented less often. And for this, I specify a deplier pipe. And as you can see, the first step is that I create a tibble object based on our vector x. And this table should contain only one column, which is called country. And this column should contain all the data in our vector object x. So if you run only this part of the pipe, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a table is created with 103 rows and one column. In the next step, I use the group by function to group our data based on this country column, as you can see in line 110 of the code. And then I use the summarize function to create a grouped column, which contains the country count. And I count the different countries in our data set using the n function. So after running these lines of code, a new table is returned, which contains our grouped data and it contains one column which is called country count. So for instance, you could see that Australia is represented three times in our group and Austria only once. You can also see that this table is ordered alphabetically. However, I want to see the countries that are represented the most in our group. And for that reason, I order our grouped table in descending order based on the country count column. So I can do that using the arrange and the desk functions, as you can see in line 112 of the code. So if you run all those lines of code, lines 109 to 112, you can see that a new table object is created, which is called my tip grouped. And we can print this table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 113 of the code. And then you can see that, that we have ordered our grouped table based on the country counts. And now you can see that the United States are represented the most because 40 out of the 103 participants are from the United States. The second place goes to the United Kingdom, which provides 11 participants. Then Canada, Germany and Mexico are all represented by five people and so on. You can also see based on these data that our grouped table has 30 rows. So in total, there are 30 different countries in our group of 103 participants. And I think that's a great international group. Now, in the next step, I also want to visualize these data. And I want to visualize these data in a ggplot2 plot. So for that reason, I use the ggplot function. And I want to draw an ordered bar plot. So for that reason, I have to use the reorder function within the aesthetics of the ggplot2 function. And I specify that I want to show the ordered country data on the x-axis and the country count values on the y-axis. 
And then I specify that I want to draw a bar plot. And in addition to that, I specify that the x-axis labels should be shown vertically. The x label should be country, the y label should be count, the title of our plot should be dplyr course participants by country, and then I also want to annotate a certain text element inside of the plot. And I want to store this plot in a new plot object that I call my ggp. So after running lines 115 to 130 of the code, you can see that this plot object is appearing at the top right. And we can draw our plot by running line 131 of the code. So after running this line of code, a new plot is appearing at the bottom right. I can enlarge this plot to show it a little bit better. And now you can see that we have created an ordered bar plot, which shows our countries ordered by the country count. So as you can see, once again, the United States is represented by 40 participants. The United Kingdom is represented by 11 participants and so on. And then you can also see a little message in the middle of the plot. So thank you very much. By the way, in case you would like to participate in one of the future courses at Statistics Globe, you may check out the link that I put into the description of this video, because there you can subscribe to a waiting list to be informed about future course releases. Thanks again to all the participants of the Statistics Globe online course. I'm very happy that we have such a great group. And also thanks to everybody who helped me to share and distribute this course so that as many people as possible could see it. Thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye bye.